Hi, my name is Jen Gross from Yuma International Airport, and this Taking Flight segment is about the Civil Air Patrol Local Squadron 508. The Civil Air Patrol now has a permanent home at the Yuma International Airport. Lane Slapper, Vice Commander of the Arizona Wing Civil Air Patrol and other state and local leaders, attended a recent ribbon-cutting ceremony at the facility. Having it here based at Yuma is, is exciting for us, and it should be exciting for the community to have us here. We hope this, this, uh, this facility, the equipment that's here, all the modern equipment that's here will help engage more people in flying at our airport, which is uh, kind of one of our, one of our goals, is to promote flying in New Arizona. The Civil Air Patrol has been around since 1941. It provides an outlet for young people who want to explore aviation. It provides a number of things. It provides um, a, a, an opportunity for young people to experience aviation, to experience flight. The, the young folks here uh, get a taste of the military. We are the official auxiliary of the United States Air Force. Uh, we also provide an emergency services response. We are the first people called to do search and rescue, air search and rescue, when an air, aircraft goes missing. So to have an aircraft based here and uh, dedicated senior members to fly the aircraft, to look for, you know, heaven forbid an aircraft goes down somewhere, they're stationed here and ready to respond uh, in support of your community, disaster relief, any type of, any type of uh, natural disaster, anything like that. So having it here based at Yuma is, is exciting for us, and it should be exciting for the community to have us here. 15-year-old Jesus Manson has been with the Civil Air Patrol since the age of 12. I decided to join because there's multiple opportunities for being a pilot. For example, if you stay in the Civil Air Patrol, you have a chance to like start off at a higher rank in the Air Force, and also you have a chance to meet a lot of awesome people. So I mean, that's what kept me going, you know, all the cool people I met here. The new facility will provide Jesus and other future pilots with a place to train for the aviation careers of tomorrow. The facility includes meeting space and interactive flight simulators to allow for a better flying experience. All of our cadets have the opportunity to fly. They all have an opportunity to get in the aircraft and to fly. Uh, we provide every cadet with orientation flights, so that's a plus. That's kind of an award, uh, reward for the cadets. Um, but it also gives them that taste of aviation and hopefully they will be interested in an aviation career. I think it's a very great facility. Uh, we have like simulators here. That'll be very fun to have like an aerospace night. Actually get to fly like a plane in the simulator. I mean even though we actually get to fly planes, you know, it'll be a, a good learning experience. It's a very uh, good program and everyone should just check it out once in a while.